I think on the next model, a gun should be even bigger. Yeah, again, sir, these are not your standard guns. These are lasers. I like bigger. People like bigger. Yes, but what, what I'm trying to explain to you... Bigger! Mr. Beach. I'm busy, I'm busy, Kelly, explaining to Grant the importance of big. You know, on second thought, why don't you explain it? I mean, as a woman, you certainly have a firm grasp on why big is preferred. <clears throat> Sir, Mr. Diomede Sims is here? You're not what I was expecting. I assure you, sir, no one tells stories as well as I. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Your kind are particularly accomplished liars, aren't they? Oh? You know about my kind? Oh, Mr. Sims, my prisons are filled with your kind. Surely not because of any issues with an unjust application of just us. Look, I'm the largest builder and owner of private prisons in this country, and I can tell you your brothers and sisters make up an enormous part of my profits. Hmm. Hmm. Kelly, how long until that press conference? Uh, just a couple of hours, sir. Shit. Shit. Excuse me? Nothing. You've got 10 minutes to impress me. Grant, explain to Sims why he's here. Yes, uh, right away. Uh, sir, we are in the last stage before full production of what I can only refer to as a sentient robot. The Robopatriot, the future of American security. A robot police force that I own and control. You ever hear of AI? That's mm. artificial intelligence. Oh, I see artificial intelligence all the time. Mm. Well, I call it. I call it. I, Grant, I call it. Mr. Beach calls it yeah. RI, real intelligence. You see, because it can learn from first-hand experience, but like a person, it can also learn from second-hand experience. So. Stories, fables, tales. That's where you come in. Hmm. That's right. You're here to tell it tales. So that it has an even broader base from which to assess who is worthy of detention, jail, even, even execution. Execution? Well, that sounds so final and not nearly as lucrative as indefinite incarceration. Some things I do are just because it's the right thing. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> but let's hear one of those stories that I'm supposed to be willing to write you a check for. Great. Uh, we're already linked into the robot and recording, sir. Let's see. Something to make your creation choose the correct individual for incarceration. Yes. Well, there are so many possibilities. <laughs> Give me a theme. Well, let's pull one from the headlines. Now, since I already have so many black lives filling the beds of my facilities, how about black lives matter? Of course. Of course. Now, this is the story of criminal behavior and how one particular black life mattered. I call it good golly. So he lost this is it? Your stupid brother's still hiking. It's like we're not even on the same vacation. Oh, come on, we will catch up with him later. Let's go. Can you believe I found it? Ready? I don't like the looks of this place. Oh, it'll be fun. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh,
No bad idea ever dies. It only lies dormant until the pungent rains of the demon spring. Wait! God bless this hell? Jesus, do we really have to do this? It's cool! God blessed it. Okay, this is crazy. Not as crazy as that. Ah! <gasps> Zoe, look! <laughs> no, that is insane. Huh. Coon chicken in. Okay, so this is the door that people came in through when they wanted some chicken. <laughs> <laughs> the Colonel's chicken made you want to lick your fingers, but that guy was licking you. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> and. This? This is like what? <laughs> you find that amusing? Uh, well, yeah, actually. I mean, it looks like that. <laughs> Who indeed? Slave masters used to brand their property with a hot iron. But as we became free men and women, America needed a new way to mark its property, a new way to control the Negro keep him in his place. So instead of hot coals and metal, they used pen, paint, and ink. No branding iron necessary. Come this way. Lazy, shiftless, gluttonous, lying, oversexed, ugly, violent, stupid. And this way, the American nigger slash Negro became the first true corporate brand. Yeah, this country used to be just really messed up. No doubt. Better now, is it? Well, I mean, we're friends, so since grade school, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should go. Um, uh, do you have any gollies? Gollies? Yeah. Like this. Hey! <gasps> careful. It's just leaning against a chair. Yeah, Zoe, careful. That chair is made from the sacred wood of a slave ship. The grain is a product of the blood shed by men and women who were beaten and died, chained within its bowels as it traversed the Middle Passage. Mm. That was like the Black Holocaust. And duh. The entire American slave experience was a Holocaust, which I might add continues today. Its dark repercussions keep bearing fruit. Can we please? Oh, God. About the gollies, the gollywogs, um, I heard you had gollywogs for sale. This is a museum. Nothing is for sale. Oh, but... Oh, he looks just like my first. Hi, Golly. Hi, little Golly G. How about 800? Others have offered thousands, and I tell them all the same. No. This doll in particular has been through too much. It's carried over 100 years of racism in its small, delicate frame. A racism created in America has traveled to England, Australia, and beyond. Okay, well, my great-gran had a collection, and she started me collecting, so honestly, I don't really see it as racist, just a warm, comforting part of my childhood. Mammy says also gave white children comfort in their childhoods, cradling them, feeding them from their swollen, bruised tits as their own babies were sold, raped, or otherwise neglected. As comforting as they were, I don't think you should have a mammy to play with either.